All right, this is a, a very quick demo of the software. Not a lot has changed since last time. Um, got the time, got the hand. I'll probably get rid of the hand. Uh, the table number, the blind structure, the stacks, the canonical names of the players, the relative position of the button, and here we have the uh, VPIP and the PFR. So we've got the preflop action here. We've got a caller, we've got a razor, then a shove, a couple folds, a call to the shove, and a third call to the shove. So we've got three players whose cards we'll eventually know. And uh, so yeah, I'm going to make uh, some uh, estimations here as to what these people are on, besides drugs. And uh, keep in mind that I'm not a very good hand reader, so uh, that's why I'm writing the software. And we'll do 2-2 two, two better, ace 2 or better, and we'll do king 2 or better, and here, 7s, mm, ace 10, king jack, queen 10, I like that. Again, don't laugh at me, not exactly my forte. I'm going to click submit, we see the flop, we see the turn, we see the river, and the summary here, the action, we see that uh, smacked up one with two pair. So when I hit submit, we're going to see that we're advancing to the next hand. And sure enough, we do. So this time I'm involved in the hand. We've got four folds, a shove, uh, and I had nines, so I called that shove. So uh, let's see, if I was observing, I would say fives are better, ace two or better, and king nine or better. And... Make hers a little bit tighter. And uh, hit submit. Again, we're gonna see the flop, the turn, the river, the summary. And once you hit submit on the final uh, hand, it's gonna uh, take your score. Now, the scoring model that I'm using right now is to curve individual guesses slightly and to curve the uh, final average by quite an amount quite a large amount. The reason why I did that is because I figure if you get half right, you've really done an excellent job, but if your score comes out 50%, you're going to think, well, I didn't do very well. So that's on a, a much heavier curve. I'm still working on the model. Um, the software is very close to being available for a, a public beta. Uh, what remains is I need a, a method for the person to select. What, what I'm thinking of is allowing a person to select a blind structure and a uh, a length. So someone might say, I want to rail a 5NL table that's roughly uh, 50 hands long. So that way they can kind of uh, roughly make a request on, on how much time they want to spend doing this. Um, and that's about it. I expect the public beta to be available in probably, uh, I would say, a week or less. Probably less, but I'll give myself a little bit of breathing room. Um, I'm also planning on putting a few more additions in. Um, one w might be enhanced. Uh, HUD, uh, but you know, as you saw, I have the PFR and the VPIP. I might add aggression. I might add three betting and that sort of stuff. Um, another option I might have is the ability for a person to uh, enter in their own hand history into a field and have it uh, tear through it that way. Right now, only full tilt is supported, and uh, and that's about it.